five undefeated seasons. For Lance Leipold, his sixth national title at his alma mater. Six national titles, 109 wins in eight seasons. The definition of dominance at the collegiate football level. That is the run Wisconsin Whitewater went on from 2007 to 2014 under head coach Lance Leipold. A magical run that included a 46 game win streak at one point. A level of dominance no one has matched since. This is the story of Wisconsin Whitewater football. This is the story of the greatest dynasty in college football. But before we get into this, if you enjoy college football content like this, make sure to leave a like and subscribe. I'm planning to release multiple videos a week this season. Also, let me know who you think is the most dominant college football program over the past few decades in the comment section below. The Wisconsin Whitewater Warhawks began playing football in 1889. In 1890, they lost to the University of Wisconsin 106 to nothing before playing the Badgers to a much closer game in 1898 when they lost 22 to nothing. There was not much history I could find when it came to the history of the Warhawks football program until 1970 when Perkins Stadium opened on the north end of the campus with a capacity of 11,000 seats. This had been a dream of head coach Forrest Perkins who worked for over seven years to get the stadium built and finished. They played their first game at Warhawk Stadium in 1970. The stadium was renamed to Forrest Perkins Stadium in 1996, and upgrades were made in 2008 and 2018. Perkins became head coach of the Whitewater State in 1956, leading them to 11 conference titles and to the 1966 NAIA National Title Game when he was named NAIA Coach of the Year. He would remain as Whitewater's head coach until he retired in 1984, putting together a 185-93-8 record in an almost three-decade coaching career. Bob Berzowitz had played for Perkins from 1963 to 1966 as his quarterback and took over for his former ball coach in 1985. After a rough 3-7-1 1985 season, Whitewater would only have two more losing seasons while he was at the helm. In 1988, he led Whitewater to their first Division III and CAA playoffs and led them back to the playoffs four more times, including two appearances in the national title game against Mount Union in 2005 and 2006. Although he led Whitewater to eight Wisconsin Intercollegiate Athletic Conference titles, he could never win the Natty, falling short 35-28 in 2005 and 35-16 in 2006. Berzowitz was named WIAC Coach of the Year four times and AFCA NCAA Division III Coach of the Year in 2005. He has since been inducted into the Wisconsin Whitewater Athletic Hall of Fame and Wisconsin Football Coaches Association Hall of Fame after a 158-74-4 record. The Lance Leipold era at Wisconsin Whitewater represented an era of just pure dominance at the Division III level. Leipold played quarterback at Whitewater from 1983 to 1986 and spent time with the Warhawks, University of Wisconsin, Nebraska Omaha, and Nebraska as an assistant coach or grad assistant from 1987 to 2006. In 2007, he was named the head coach at UW Whitewater over the likes of Stans Weffel, Kurt Weiss, and Rick Willis. Leipold wasted no time finding success at Whitewater, putting together a 14 and one season and beating Mount Union, 31-21 in the Division III championship behind a strong pro-style offense. Their only loss that season had come to Division II St. Cloud State. In 2008, they went 13-2, losing to Mountain Union in the national title game. That would be Wisconsin Whitewater's last loss for nearly three years as they would win 46 straight games and three national titles. All three of those national title victories would come against Mount Union as a rivalry was slowly starting to form in some people's opinion. Yet, the head coaches at the prospective schools believe the rivalry is a matchup that was scheduled every year and not one that magically came to be. The 2012 season was Leipold's worst season at Whitewater. His team earned a record of 7-3 with two conference losses and missed the playoffs. After their loss to UW Stevens Point on October 27, 2012, the Warhawks would not lose a game again until October 10, 2015, when they fell to UW Oshkosh 10 7. 
Leipold would lead Whitewater to back-to-back 15-0 seasons, beating Mount Union in the national title game in both 2013 and 2014. Leipold left Wisconsin Whitewater with an overall record of 109-6 and a conference mark of 53-3. He won six Division III national championships and seven WIAC championships in eight seasons. Other than the 2012 season, his teams were never ranked below number 15 in any D3Football.com poll. The 2010, 2011, and 2014 teams were ranked number one throughout the season. Leipold would leave Wisconsin Whitewater to become the head coach of Buffalo, where he revived their football program, followed by reviving the Kansas Jayhawks football program. Throughout his career, he had been a candidate for FCS jobs at Austin P, Gardner-Webb, and Southeast Missouri. Yet those schools couldn't pull him away from Whitewater. But the draw to go to the FBS level was too much to pass up, as he went on a vagabond path to the FBS level, which not many coaches can claim. He has continued to win everywhere. Lightbulb went 34-1 in Division III playoffs as a head coach and basically put the Warhawks on the map to the point where everybody knew who Whitewater was. He was a three-time WIAC Coach of the Year and six-time National Coach of the Year. He earned multiple honors from as many as five football-related organizations. He earned his fifth American Football Coaches Association Division III Coach of the Year award in 2013, joining Penn State's Joe Paterno as the only coach at any level of college football to earn five AFCA Coach of the Year awards. He did all this without being able to offer scholarships, with big-name players from the Leipold era being Justin Beaver, Brent Allen, Jeff Schlebler, Lavelle Coppage, Cole Klotz, and Jared Kaisau, along with over 56 All-American players. The run Lance Leipold and Wisconsin Whitewater went on is still unmatched compared to any other Division III squad in recent years. The only team that has come close to the same success is Mount Union, who Whitewater played in 9 of the 10 Division III national title games from 2005 to 2014. Kevin Bullis was named as Whitewater's next head coach after Leipold's departure, spending six years as an assistant under Lance Leipold going back to the 2008 season. While he was unable to continue the national dominance Whitewater had experienced under Leopold, he continued their conference dominance winning five WIAC conference titles. In 2015, they finished 12-2 and, and lost in the semifinals to guess who? Mount Union. In 2016, they went 12-1 and, and lost in the quarterfinals to John Carroll. They would miss the playoffs for the first time since 2012 and 2017, but returned in 2018 going 13-1 and, and losing in the semifinals to Mary Harden Baylor, 31 to 14. In 2019, they made it back to the national title game, and for the first time in school history, in the Stag Bowl, they were not playing Mountain Union. Instead, they would lose to North Central. In 2021, they went 13 and 1 and made it to the semifinals once again. While in 2022, they went 8 and 3 and lost in the first round of the Division Three playoffs. After the 2022 season, Bullis announced he was going to retire after 35 years of coaching and finished his time at Whitewater with a 78 and 13 record. The man announced to replace him, former Whitewater linebacker and All-American, Jacer Rendhall. Rendhall played for Whitewater from 2005 to 2008, playing in the Stag Bowl every year of his collegiate career. In 2011, he was elected to the WIAC's all-time football team as a prelude to the conference's centennial celebration in 2013. Following his playing career, Rendall served as a linebackers coach and special teams assistant from 2009 to 2012, a span during which the Warhawks won three conference championships and national championships. Under his leadership, one linebacker was named an All-American in each season from 2009 to 2011. After two seasons as a running back coach at South Dakota at the FCS level, Jace returned to Whitewater, where he has since served as the linebackers coach and eventually as their defensive coordinator before becoming head coach. He was named WIAC Assistant Coach of the Year in 2018 and is currently only in his mid-30s. Going to this past weekend's game against UW Oshkosh, this video is being recorded on Friday, September 29th. Jace has the Warhawks sitting at 3-0 with wins over John Carroll, St. John's, and Mary Harden Baylor. The Warhawks currently sit at number 3 in the D3 Top 25 and will look to have another deep run in the Division 3 playoffs this season. Wisconsin Whitewater has always had a dominant football program going back to the 50s, with only a few losing seasons. But what Lance Leopold did during his time as head coach was simply amazing. 
Six national titles in eight years is a level of dominance not even the likes of Alabama and Georgia can claim. Leipold took Wisconsin Whitewater to the national stage, a place they have not left since. What do you think? Who is the most dominant Division III football program in the past decade? Let me know in the comments section below. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to check out one of my other videos YouTube thinks you will love right here. Don't forget to leave a like and subscribe for more college football content. Thank you so much for watching and as always remember to embrace the grind.